Let's select that sphere by holding the Alt and selecting that. And I'm gonna change the, the shape a little bit. So this is gonna be a mesh that I'm gonna use to change the, the shape of the mouth of this character or create the mouth really. So I can go ahead and push this in and actually use the booleans to subtract this shape from the body. So what I need to do is I need to move this shape or the, the mouth, right? And I need to move it inside of the folder. So I'm gonna put it right below. So just click and drag to put it right below. So these lines here tell me that these two subtools are within this folder. So I can collapse the folder and you see they're still there. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take the, the actual uh, mouth here and I wanna click on this icon here. So these three icons, they refer to the Booleans. Now the really powerful thing in ZBrush is that the Booleans are live Booleans. So meaning you can visualize what you're gonna do before you do any Boolean operation. So let's go to the render palette and let's open up these render Booleans here. That's all we need. I'm gonna hold the control, the alt key and click on live Boolean and I'm gonna drop it in there. If I click on it, you see straight away, uh, we have this weird sort of mesh. That is because I have the polyframe enabled. So let's turn it off for the time being. Turn off the polyframe and you'll see what this is doing. 